Hi all. Welcome to EIESB Mule 4, 4 minute videos. In this video you are going to learn about database connector in Mule 4. Let's jump into the application development. Open any point studio, click on file new Mule project and give the project name, for fetching the customer details from the database, and to set the response as JSON, click on finish. Now drag and drop HTTP listener connector to get the request for your service. Click on new connector configurations. Give the host name and port number for your service. Click on test connection. If the port number is not in use, then you will get test connection as successful message, click on OK. By default HTTP listener have the response as the payload. By default Mule 4 won't have the database module so. Go to the Mule palette and click on Add Module and select the database and click on Finish. In earlier Mule versions, a single database connector has multiple operations. But in Mule 4 version, for each operation there is a connector like Bulk Update, Bulk Insert, Bulk Delete, Execute Script, Select, Insert, Update, Delete execute DDL and stored procedure connectors. Now drag and drop database select connector into the canvas. Select the database connection from the drop down list, select Oracle connection to connect with Oracle database server. Click on the dependency and add Oracle dependency. Give host name, port number, user, password and instance and test your connection. If your connection properties are true then your test connection is successful. And write appropriate select query to fetch the records. Now drag and drop transform message to convert result data set into JSON format. Set the input and output metadata to transform the details. Transform message has an intelligent data sense which can creates a schema for you by taking the example data. Now map input to output fields. Now save and run your Mule project. By default Mule will download required artifacts from the Maven repository. Once your project don't have any errors, then it shows a success message as deployed. Now go to browser or postman, give the service URL and click on send. Congratulations, your service is working fine. Now you can see the response with fetched records in a structured JSON format, that's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos, for any queries please reach us at mule4beta at